Hello, my name is Bexel Hakimov, and I would like to show you how to install software called Signature Mapping, which you can use for processing uh, raw proton NMR metabolomics datasets. Okay, first of all, how you should install it. You will receive a Sigma folder, entire folder installation. It's a compiled uh, software. There will be three folders. Mm, please just go to the folder called for the distribution files only and there you will see a sigma exe file and what you need to do is you just need to execute the exe file but before you do that you have to have something called matlab runtime installed on your pc so and the matlab runtime you need is 9.4 so in order to install matlab runtime please go to the mathworks website and install it this version of the sigma runs only windows so you will have to install the windows version and once you have installed you can actually go to the exe file and just execute this just by double clicking and then you will see this uh, Sigma logo appearing. First time when you install and you open, it may take some time to, to, to open the software. So please be patient. Okay, when the Sigma opens, you will see a graphical user interface which looks like this more or less. And I would highly recommend that you, before you start using, please go to the Sigma help and read about Sigma. Here you will see uh, information about the software and also please read the disclaimer. Also, I highly recommend that you uh, read the manual. It will make uh, your using Sigma much easier. Please have a look at this PDF. It's two page PDF and it explains all the steps of the data processing using Sigma. Also, you are welcome to read a reference paper which actually refers to this software. It has been published in 2020. This is a paper. And it, it explains how Sigma works. Okay. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, you can uh, contact us. Uh, I will now start to show you how to use Sigma. So you can upload your NMR spectra, which should be proton NMR spectra, one dimensional. We can either upload the raw broker data files or MATLAB data files. And if you want to upload MATLAB data files, please again look at the manuals how your MATLAB data files should be organized. You can see it has to be organized like, like a data structures and where you have NMR data dot data and that's your real spectra and PPM scale and uh, sample names basically. Okay, Sigma consists of the separate panels. We call it the tabs, and in each tab you do some sort of uh, pro uh, some so some stages of the processing. So let me just show you by opening uh, the broker raw data files. Let's say. So we can just uh, open. Here I already prepared some uh, raw data files. So let's open some urine spectra. So when you open the spectra, you will see immediately the size of the data that you just imported and the button that you use for importing the, the data will become green. So you can just start uh, looking at your spectra just by clicking examples. So you can select uh, few samples and here we have a plot options 
you can easily look at all the plots like a superimpose now or you can just do a subplot you can even do a sample wise plottings like this and you can of course look at all the samples simultaneously you can use uh, standard zooming options and try to zoom your spectra and have a look different regions okay but before you do anything I would like to just explain you uh, some of the difficulties which you may uh, come across so please make sure that when you import broker role data files that in your folder which you direct let's say when you open please make sure that you have uh, comparable NMR spectra the spectra have the same size ideally of course the Sigma checks your spectral sizes and acquisition parameters but we have seen some uh, some error messages coming out and then you just select the folder here so the that when you start opening the broker data files for the first time you may actually have some error messages but uh, please do so the second time and then it should actually work so here now uh, I miss opening okay So let me show you uh, how Sigma checks your data compatibility when you open the raw broker data files. Okay, so when you open raw broker, for example, let me just go and try to uh, upload uh, completely incompatible data sets. Let's say we are trying to open uh, broker plasma uh, data sets uh, acquired by three different pool sequences noisy cpmg and jrs and let's see what happens uh, again i would like to mention that sigma only processes one dimension and a mass spectra not two dimension and a mass spectra so you can see now we are trying to open incompatible and then we get a uh, message saying your data has two kinds of size so set one data has uh, uh, 131072 by one so which means it's a one dimensional spectra and we have 20 samples of those and then we have set two samples which is actually 2d data you can see and we know this is a JRS spectra and it's 256 by uh, 16,000 and in this case of course we want set one so we you just type one and press OK if you don't want and you want to just sort out your data files first type and zero and exit the program so now I type one and then I run further and it checks further and within those 20 samples that we have selected uh, Sigma actually finds that uh, this data has actually recorded has been recorded using two different kind of uh, FID sizes uh, 73,000 K and then 98,000 K and I know by experience that the Set two is the one which corresponds to the noisy spectra, for example. And set one, this FID size corresponds to the CPMG. So let's open just CPMG. Type one, press OK. And now you can see I opened 10 CPMG spectra. OK, so let me open uh, our urine spectra because this version of Sigma actually works only with urine. Okay, so now here we have again our uh, 14 uh, human pooled control urine NMR spectra. Before you do anything, what you should do is you should actually specify in the sample type that it is a urine sample. And I will explain you why because we have a uh, reference urine spectra which we need in order to actually map the signature signals if it's not urine spectra you are welcome to say none 
and then you will have to define the signature signals yourself later or you can even do a custom this will ask you to open a excel file which you can actually where you specify the regions of the each signature signals in your spectra and how this excel file should be organized is also in the manual okay so okay so i showed you how to import broker data and let me show you how to import matlab it's very simple also so i also prepared some matlab data sets ready so let me just open one uh, urine so it's actually the same spectra here it is okay so now we know how to import the, the nmr spectra and here you see these buttons called uh, delete samples and variables so if you press this it will open separate window where you can actually select which sample you want to be deleted okay and you just need to select those samples and press delete so let me just delete sample number one in this case it asks are you sure yes we sure so now we deleted samples number one and do we need all the, this NMR uh, spectral region mm, yes if not you just press remove this okay and sometimes we work with very very large NMR spectra and in order to speed up a little bit we can also try to uh, we can also consider binning the NMR spectra so we can say binning method let's say it's mean and let's bin with the bin size of 2 which will actually reduce the spectral uh, length by 2 and we just say bin and accept and you can see after accept your sample size has changed your data size has changed so your data is no longer has 14 samples but it's only 13 samples and we remove some in the spectral region and we also bind by two that's why we have reduced our sample size and when you do some operation the button that you press to do that operation becomes orange and while this is orange what you can do is there is a button called save is active so this means that you can actually save either the just imported raw data by typing one or process data by typing two let's say we want to save the process data and we type two and say okay and it will ask uh, where do we want to save this so let's say we want to create a new folder so let's say we want to create new folder 11 okay so now we have actually saved our data in new folder 11 once again okay so here you can see that we have now new folder 11 and we have saved a process data and also the options of the sigma okay so i would like to show you uh, the next steps so that's why i accept this process data so now we have this process spectra where we removed some regions removed one sample and what you can also do is if you have already used sigma you can already load the options of the sigma and directly press one click sigma and it will generate your metabolite table so you don't need to go through all these tabs reference alignment interval recognition interval alignment quantification and generate metabolite table you will not need to go all through all this you can just press one click sigma so let me just try to do it with the current settings of the sigma urine uh, parameters and we should be able to generate metabolite table directly so we just need to wait a little bit now we have mapped and we are quantifying all the signature signals
Okay. So let me just uh, say again the same folder 11. New folder 11. So now here you can see we have generated actually uh, if, you, if you sort like this we have generated the sigma result. This is a MATLAB uh, data file. We can also open uh, using MATLAB or you can also just double click the, the data Excel sheet and here you will see how your data is, how your metabolite table looks like. And let me show you here. We have metabolite table and from row 1 till 13 we have all the uh, information about the variables and then we have the samples starting from row 15 so here we have a metabolite class so one is this uh, signature signals which are the known metabolites two is uh, SUS we call it it's unknown uh, signals and three is the bins and we also have something called four and this class will only become available if you during the processing if you choose to include also the left out ppm re regions so you can see that we have uh, the metabolite table and we have the ppm of each uh, signal so it's a, it's let's say if it's a sig if it's a singlet this ppm corresponds to the max of that singlet we have some uh, Signal, signal to noise parameters and we have something called occurrence what is occurrence occurrence is one if this signal is present in your sample and it's zero if it is not present and this is calculated based on signal to noise ratio so if signal to noise ratio is below three then this becomes zero and we also have some quality parameters about the how how much the shift was present in the data for these uh, specific samples and so on. The most important thing is that what you should pay attention is that you have three kinds of uh, variables and the first, sorry, three class of variables and the first class belongs to the knowns as I said, which means they are all quantified using MCR and you can pay attention to the explained variation of MCR they are all very high because this is simple data which is just uh, pooled human uh, urine spectra and you can see as you start uh, as we start by uh, unknowns and, uh, and the bins we don't use MCR anymore Okay, so this was a metabolite table. And of course here you have also the names of the, each of these uh, signature signals. So here we have, we, are, we actually included also the TSP and all the other metabolites. Okay, let me just go back to our sigma. So now we have done just uh, one click sigma. But I would like to show you uh, all the tabs separately. That's why what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this session of the Sigma. Also close.